Hello everybody, this is Blank Mauser, lead developer, and today we're going to be learning the basics of Palant, the Blue Storm. In general, Palant excels at space control and zoning. By trapping the opponent with projectiles, Palant can force the opponent into tough situations and pressure their guard with strong, basic mix-ups. Remember that every character has two forms, Redshift and Blue Shift, each with their own unique moveset. Let's start with Blue Palant. A defining trait of Blue Palant is his air action. By pressing shield in the air, Palant hovers and has some decent horizontal control. Not only is this great for his offstage game and applying pressure, but Palant has a myriad of air attacks designed to complement this. His forward air bullet is an orb attack that has a great arc for covering space, but if you angle them to clash with each other, it can be even more effective. Practice jump cancelling orbs into each other and then floating, and see how difficult it can be for your opponent to catch you. His backwards aerial attack is also similar. While this shoots a projectile, it counts as a regular attack, meaning it can cancel into nearly anything. Try shooting a back air into a forward bullet for some quick coverage. Charging his neutral bullet in the air can also be a great tactic. If it whiffs, you can cancel into your float, but if it hits, you can cancel into his down special for a follow-up. Palant's down special is another way of keeping Palant's air options flexible, letting him return quickly to the ground. Holding the button cancels it into a low attack upon landing, making it a decent mix-up option. Palant's down bullet can be used to trap the opponent's wake-up options, and even snuck into block strings when jump cancelled. Once you've got them locked down, hurt their guard bar with Palant's neutral art. This is done by pressing the art button, or attack and bullet simultaneously in the air. Its forward art serves a similar purpose. Here's a neat trick. The second hit of Palant's forward tilt is actually airborne. By plinking forward tilt with forward bullet, you can Kara cancel a grounded forward tilt into an aerial forward art. This is a great way to secure more frame advantage and deal a ton of guard damage. While it may be tempting to abuse the range on Palant's sword, the tip of these attacks can be grazed. You'll have to be careful to space yourself closer to the enemy when edgeguarding, and mix in his neutral air attack to keep opponents respectful. Here are some basic combos and follow-ups with Blue Palant to get you started. Let's move on to Red Palant. If Blue Palant would be described as a wall, Red Palant is more like an imposing force that covers great horizontal distance. A key change here is that Red Palant's air side bullet is now a slash that summons a barrage of bullets. You can use this as cover fire so you can approach with Palant's air action with relative safety. His new side specials on both the ground and in the air complement this new game plan appropriately. His forward air also has new properties, as it's now a long-range cancelable attack. Hitting close with this move sends at a very low angle. Along with his aerial side bullet, this can be a great edge guarding tool. Not exclusive to redshift, marking your opponent with neutral B lets you teleport to them by pressing B again. You can hold a direction to decide where you appear, so make sure you space yourself correctly for the best follow-up. Back air is now a great knockout tool. With proper timing, you can even fast fall it just before attacking. Now that we've covered his strengths, let's move on to the more awkward parts of Red Palant's moveset. His up special is a spinning slash. If you tap the button, it's simply a quick spin, making it optimal for continuing pressure. However, if you hold the button, Palant will do a rising slash, which doesn't cover much horizontal distance. To gain more horizontal distance, you'll have to use Palant's side special and his air dash. If you air dash into a wall, Palant will perform a wall run. Because Red Palant's recovery can get pretty predictable and slow, it may be worth saving your meter to mix it up a bit. Press the Z button when you have two bars of meter to cancel your attack. There are many creative ways to apply this, so experiment! Finally, let's look at some basic follow-ups for Red Palant.
Well, that's it for the basics of Palon. If you'd like to try them yourself, you can download the demo on our Kickstarter page. Be sure to give us a share, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>